substituted benzenes and aromatic heterocycles, aromatic compounds containing heteroatoms, often contain imine and enamine-like structures within them. For example, anilines are amino-substituted benzenes, and these contain an enamine-like structure within them. So for example, if we look at the nitrogen, we can notice that it's adjacent to a carbon-carbon double bond. In fact, it's adjacent to three double bonds all in conjugation. And so resonance structures show us that this is an enamine-like structure with negative charge located on what looks like the alpha carbon of an enamine. And we can continue to push that negative charge around the ring to show that the ortho and para positions with respect to the amino substituent are negatively charged, are nucleophilic. Numerically, we would number these as the two, four, and six carbons with respect to the amino group. What this means in practice is that reactions of aniline with electrophiles are relatively rapid with respect to benzene. The ring is what we call electron rich. It has an abundance of electrons as a result of donation from the amino group. So for example, we can simply treat aniline with Br2, bromine, with no catalyst, a catalyst is usually required in these reactions, to substitute hydrogen for bromine at the two, four, and six positions. And at these highlighted positions, we have what look like enamine alpha carbons. And we've seen these acting as nucleophiles previously. These carbons within anilines react exactly analogously. Parole is an enamine-like heterocycle. And within parole, we have an enamine built into the five-membered ring. Notice that if we push the lone pair on nitrogen over, we can generate a resonance structure in which we have negative charge on the alpha carbon, we might say, with respect to the amino group that's actually built into the parole ring. We can continue to push that negative charge around the ring to show that, in fact, all of parole's carbons bear some partial negative charge. So all four carbons in parole are nucleophilic. In practice, it's the carbon adjacent to the nitrogen that's the best nucleophile, generally. We might call this carbon-2, while carbon-3, the carbon adjacent, is the second best. And of course, the other two carbons on the other side of the molecule are homotopic with respect to these first two. Here again, we see that parole is an electron-rich ring, and the carbons within parole are analogous to enamine alpha carbons and are nucleophilic as a result. So parole reacts very rapidly with electrophiles, for example. There are also imine-like heterocycles, and pyridine is really the prototypical example. Pyridine contains a carbon-nitrogen double bond within its structure, and we can look at this as a kind of imine within the ring. Resonance structures show us that carbons within the pyridine ring are electron deficient. There's positive charge on carbon-2 with respect to the nitrogen, and we can push electrons around the ring to show that carbons 2, 4, and 6 all bear positive charge in the pyridine ring. We can also think about protonating the pyridine nitrogen, and this generates the conjugate acid, a pyridinium ion. And these are essentially conjugated aminium ions in which carbons 2, 4, and 6 with respect to the pyridinium nitrogen are strongly electrophilic, much more electrophilic than the conjugate base, than pyridine. So for example, nucleophiles can add to this ring in an AD sub N elementary step, forming a new carbon nucleophile bond at the two, four, or six position. Because the resulting structure is non-aromatic, these often lose hydrogen through an oxidation process to form substituted pyridine derivatives. The main point, though, is that this nucleophilic addition is highly analogous to the addition of a nucleophile to an aminium carbon, which is in turn analogous to the addition of a nucleophile to an electrophilic carbonyl or a protonated carbonyl carbon. So we can draw many analogies between the reactivity of pyridines and pyridiniums and the reactivity of electrophilic carbonyl carbons.